The Mighty Rovers return to League One action this weekend and they make the short trip to Oldham Athletic. We'll talk about that match and much more on today's show. That's right folks, back once again with another match preview. But before we get any further, I want you to stop what you're doing, swallow what you're chewing, and go ahead and smash that subscribe button so I can give you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. So, international break has come and gone. England, congratulations. Iceland, congratulations. Germany squeezed it. Well, they didn't squeeze it. They, they managed to get there quite comfortably. Serbia made the trip to make the trip to Russia, as will Spain. A few nations, commiserations, Scotland, commiserations, Wales, both Northern Ireland and Republic of Ireland. They will be headed to the playoffs to try and get themselves into Russia for next year's World Cup. Anyway, enough jibber-jabber about the World Cup. Let's return our focus back to League One action, where the mighty Rovers... In another Northwest clash with Oldham Athletic. Let's dig a little deeper, shall we? So, Oldham Athletic play their games at Boundary Park, and they're going to be under the stewardship of Richie Wellens. He's temporary coach. And I'll say that right now uh, because that could change come Saturday. Uh, but he's done a fantastic job. I think he's won three out of three. Um, got themselves out of the drop zone, and they are now looking up the table then rather than down. Last season, they finished uh, 17th spot, so not too great, uh, but a couple spaces above the drop zone. The game will kick off 3 o'clock Saturday, 14th of October, and the man we've got to keep an eye on is Ewan Doyle. Track record between the two clubs, they've played a lot of games over the years, 63 times to be exact. Blackburn coming up with 30 wins, 18 losses, and they've drawn 15 between them. However, the recent fixtures look like this. Blackburn coming into this with only one defeat in five visits to Boundary Park. Last time these two met was way back when, in the, when both of these teams were in the Premier League. December 11th, 1993, Rovers coming down the back, 2-1 winners. Uh, the season before that... Rovers and Oldham both still in the Premier League. Again, Rovers coming away with the 1-0 victory. And last time Blackburn suffered defeat was all the way back in 1989 when Oldham put up a 2-0 victory back in the old Division 2. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. Now, just like before on some other teams, I'm not too sure who will play, but I've got a fair idea. Here's how I think Oldham Athletic will line up. Placid in goal, Domingan, Clark, Brian, Nepomuncino, Hunt, Byrne, Fane. Gardner, Doyle and Davis. As I mentioned, you've got to keep an eye on that. Doyle, six goals this season. Another familiar name Rover fans might recall is uh, Burn in the middle of the uh, midfield. Uh, he was on loan last season uh, for Rovers to zero effect. He's also on a loan spell uh, this season uh, from Wigan Athletic. And apparently the Oldham fans have taken a shine to him. So uh, we, he might have reached his level of League One action. So we've got to keep a close eye on that fella. As for Rovers, last time out, Blackburn Rovers played in the Checker Trade Cup. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But none of these guys, I don't think, featured in that game. But let's take a quick rundown of the 11 I feel that will start the game against Oldham. David Ryer in goal. Callis, Downing, Mulgrew, Williams, Bradley Dack, Corey Evans, Richard Smallwood, Elliot Bennett. Dominic Samuel and Marcus Antwins. No real surprises there. Uh, I've reverted back to the defensive uh, core of Evans and Smallwood just due to the fact that the upturn in form for Oldham and the fact that we're going to be playing at their ground. And um, uh, However, Mowbray might, might opt for something completely different. He might you know, keep Whittingham in, in the centre of midfield with Smallwood uh, and he also might change the, the front pair of Samuel and Antonsen um, but to be honest with you, I think this, this side would be good enough to get a victory at, uh, at Boundary Park. Um, you know, I'm not expecting a flood of goals. I'm hoping we can pull away with a 2-0 victory. Um, and it would be a cracking afternoon if Bradley Dack would get on the score sheet one more time. And also maybe Elliot Bennett to celebrate his bumper new deal that keeps him at the club till 2020. If you didn't, uh, find out about that. Um, uh, there's details of that on my Twitter and my Facebook. So let's take a look at the recent form uh, for Oldham Athletic. Like I said at the start of the show, Oldham coming on the back of the three-game unbeaten run or three-game winning run. 
uh, heading into the Rovers match. So let's take a quick look back at those fixtures. Last time out, they picked up a 1-0 victory against Crew Alexandra, League 2, in the Checker Trade Trophy. Before that, I had a massive away victory against Portsmouth, 2-1 victors. Before that, again, another huge victory, 3-2 winners against Peterborough. You know, these are, these are tough teams. You know, go, go into Portsmouth, pick up three points, and picking up another three points against, you know, fifth, currently fifth place, Peterborough. That's a massive, um, that's a massive two results right there. Before that, I don't know if this was John Sheridan's last game, but they were on the back of a 5-1 spanking against Rotherham United. And before that, they lost to Tabletop of Shrewsbury at Boundary Park. So, yeah, looking at their recent form, they also missed, uh, they also did not play this, this past weekend due to international call-ups. Um, but Rovers have got to take this game uh, very seriously. You know, the league table does give a bad indication of, of, uh, of teams' form. It wasn't long ago where when you looked at the table and, and MK Dons were towards the foot of it. Um, same goes for Rochdale. Rochdale have dug themselves out of a hole, but Oldham have seriously dug themselves out of a hole. And, and, and the change of manager, even though Richie Wellens is only on a temporary basis, um, has done them the world of good. Two, there are two huge victories, and I think they would like to pick up a scalp against Blackburn come Saturday. Let's take a look at Rovers' form. Last time out, they suffered a defeat in the pointless Checker Trade Trophy, coming off of the back of a 1 0 home defeat to Berry. Whereas in the league, last time out, Rovers on back to back home wins with a 1 0 victory against Gillingham, 2 0 victory against Rotherham. They picked up a point away from home against Tabletop of Shrewsbury and that shit stain defeat against Wimbledon still at the bottom of the graphic right there. Let's take a look at the statistics now. As for Oldham's top scorers, like I said at the start of the show, Doyle's there with six, Davies is there with six, Burns got three goals for the season, Green has got one. As for Yellows, Gardner five, Banks has got four, Jaron's got three, Burns also got three. And if you look at this nasty statistic, three players on red cards. Doyle's got one, Wilson's got one, Fane's got one. As for Rovers, Dominic Samuel there with five goals. Charlie Mulgrew still on there with three. Antonson also on three. And big Richard Smallwood at the end with two goals this season. As for yellow cards, Corey Evans leads the way, unfortunately, four yellows. Uh, Elliot Bennett there with three. Williams and Dak both on two. And most importantly, still no red cards to the day. So what's been happening on social media? Well, to be honest with you, it's completely dry out there. I've had to dig and dig deep to try and find anything of any interest. There is one bit of uh, interesting news out there in regards to Oldham. Uh, this was posted on the BBC website about five days ago, and it reports that the players and staff uh, have yet to be paid for the month of September. So it's a bit of a financial crisis for Oldham. I, I hate to see clubs such as Oldham and you know even Leighton Orient and you know I nostalgic man I like things I like old clubs I like clubs that have been around a while and, and, and Oldham are one of those clubs so I don't want to see them in in peril I like hopefully they can get themselves sorted out you know and, and hey yeah we, we were in our own um, financial disaster zone with the Venkies. Um so you know I, I feel their pain uh, and hopefully something can get sorted out for Oldham and, and they can get Get back to uh, back in the black and, and and get this situation sorted out. Also on social media, Oldham Athletic were hosting this Ask Doyle's uh, session, where they asked the fans to ask striker Doyle some questions. Uh, and the one of interest for me was Anthony McNamara. He said, "My family are Blackburn fans. I don't want a rift to develop between me and them as a result of Saturday's game. With this in mind, is there any chance you could take it easy after your fourth goal on the day?" And meanwhile, Joe Adams of the League One Banter Group says, Feel sorry for Oldham fans. Just imagine this time next weekend, Blackburn would have smashed you full zip at your own place. With a fresh squad, it could get even more than that. Watch out, Oldham. We are going to demolish you. Also, with two games in hand, we'll be soon be top of the league where we belong. Bow down to the League One champ 2017-2018. Joe, I feel your optimism and uh, it's, it's good to have, but uh, I'm going to go into this one on... Uh, you know, a little reserved. I think it's 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 going to be a close, a lot closer than folks will imagine. Yes, the table paints a different picture. Rovers now seventh, Oldham nineteenth, but the form book is in Oldham's hands right now. Three wins out of three under uh, new 
managerial ship, even though it might be a, a temporary one. But uh, the momentum is with them. So if we come away with a point, I hope fans can uh, can live with that. I feel it will be a, a reasonable result. Obviously, I would like more. I'd like the three points. It seems to me that a lot of teams that we expect to win, we end up suffering either a draw or even a defeat. Take a look at Wimbledon, take a look at Doncaster, um, even Southend to a point. Um, so we've got to be a little bit cautious that uh, Oldham, they, they are on form and uh, it's a different Oldham than it was to two, three weeks ago. So we need to we need to respect that. And I think we should you know go into this thinking that these are a team that, uh, you know, in and around about the same form as us. It's not what I think that will happen this weekend. It's what Cast the Cat thinks that will happen this weekend. So let's take a look what the cat thinks will happen this time out at Boundary Park between Oldham and Blackburn Rovers. Let's hope she's right and let's hope we can pick up another three points. Now over the years a lot of players have played for both Old Athletic and Blackburn Rovers. Here are just a few. Way back when Premier League winning Paul Warhurst played for both Oldham and he also represented the blue and white of Blackburn Rovers. More recently last season's skipper Jason Lowe also played on loan for Oldham Athletic earlier in his career. And I'll end it, I'll end this session anyway, with this fella. Favourite local god, David Dunn. Yes, he was actually at Oldham on a player managerial basis, I believe. His first taste of football management didn't really end very, uh, very well for him. Um, but he, yes, played for both the Mighty Blue and White and for those fellas at Boundary Park. Now, like I said, that was just a tidbit of some of the players who have played for both. I am going to save some for the return leg at Ewood Park. But if you can't wait, head over to my website. Details in the description below. I have a full list of all the players that have played for both Oldham Athletic and Blackburn Rovers. That's pretty much all I've got for you today. But if you want to head over to my YouTube channel, you can check out my FIFA 95 hack series. We've done the Oldham game. If it's not online now, it will be online very, very soon. So you might as well check that bad boy out. So I'm looking at you now, Tony Murray. Bring home the three points to Ewood Park and get us back in those playoff spots as we kick on towards the top of the table. Come on, Rovers! Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. It'll get you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. But if you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there. If you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now.